All right, guys. Um, this is an old keyboard I used to use back then in church, from maybe mid mid nineties, ninety four, ninety five, somewhere in there. Uh, even as late as nineteen ninety six, and I took the shroud out, and uh, because I'm gonna see if it needs some reconditioning. This is really what I used to do in the medical field, or really in any electronics field. Um, this is the Yamaha PSR two ten. For those uh, keyboard aficionados that know what I'm talking about, you might have uh, used this keyboard or you might have one like me. Please share it with the world because they don't make them anymore. So again, this is an old Yamaha keyboard. Back in the time, it was kind of expensive. I'm saying anywhere from like $200, $300 back then, which was a lot of money in the early 90s. So... Without further ado, let me turn it around and um, show you what I mean. Um, like I said, I took the shroud out and I'm going to clean it because it has some oxidation there from the batteries. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to have it up to specs, either for my use or I was going to donate it to like the church. Somebody that might need, see, as you can see, there's a lot of oxidation there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to recondition this thing. But at least you know what the keyboard is all about. It's just a bunch of keys over there. And then it has all these um, motherboards or circuits underneath it. And it's pretty basic for being the 90s. So most of these uh, electronics were, um, again, they were pretty primitive compared to today. They're big boards with these big ICs there. Um, I'm going to try to... For any of you guys that are interested in electronics, I'm going to try to get this schematic to show you. But pretty much, that's pro I'm thinking that's the main board. That's probably another board for the power and the connectors, which all the speakers are there connected to. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty old. Um, pretty old and basic, but I guess that's what made electronics great back then. Didn't have to worry about um, software issues or updates or google this or windows that it was just basic all electronics um just very basic with your motherboards and the ic's doing all the work all the like i said if you see the schematic you might understand better but just seeing this like that um that doesn't tell you much but as, as you've seen i'm about to work on this uh hopefully you guys like what i've shown you today this is not an easy job to do. It could be messy, but that's part of the job. So thanks for watching. And if you're interested in more of these videos or more of these um, repair videos, just leave comments there. Ask me questions. Um, ask. Um, comments. Anything. Just engage in this and you shall learn and you shall see more. There's there's a lot. We, we're just starting here. So. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.